So I'm giving you guys the top five best meta loadouts for Rebirth Island Warzone. These are going to be everything that you guys need, especially after the buffs and nerfs. So we're going to get right into it. We are going to start out with the Ram 7. And then the second thing is the Renetti. Now, I know you guys want to see these classes because they are literally the best in the game. So this is the best long range. We're going to start with it. Throwing the cast is break for horizontal recoil and firing aim stability. You do lose some aim down sight speed, which is not a big deal. I think that this is the best choice overall until they nerf it. And I honestly don't see them nerfing it. Like the cast is break has been in the game and solid for a long time. So if they nerf it, it'd be really disappointing. Next, put on the Cronin Headwind Long Barrel for bullet velocity and range. Aiming out sway and firing aim stability. You lose some hip fire and attack stance spread. Aim walking speed and sprint to fire speed. But here's the thing. If you don't want to use that, you can use the XRK Core Mark 40 Heavy Barrel for gun kick control. Aiming out sway, bullet velocity and range and recoil control. You lose sprint to fire speed, hit fire attack, stance spread at a smaller amount, aim walking speed, and sprint speed. Now, if you compare the two, I mean, it kind of seems like this is more optimal, but you get way more bullet velocity and range with the Cronin Headwind Long Barrel. As you guys see, it's 25, 21, and 22 versus 13, 12, and 15. It's completely up to you whichever one you want to pick. Put on the Bruin Heavy Support Grip for Gun Kick Control, aiming out sway, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability at the cost of aim down sight speed and vertical recoil, which is already taken care of with this gun's absolutely amazing build. Put on the 60 round drum for magazine ammo capacity. I mean, there's just no better alternative. I think overall, no matter what game mode you play, you should honestly use the 60 round. I know in previous videos I've said, well, you can use the 40 if da 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 da, but nah, I think overall you should use the 60 round drum. It's honestly the best possible choice. And the last thing is the HVS 3.4 pad for gun kick control and recoil control at the cost of sprint speed and sprint to fire speed. This weapon is still ridiculously busted despite any sort of nerf that was done to it. It's just an absolutely amazing weapon. It takes no effort to use this gun. I know a lot of people are trying to cop out and use this other gun that I'm going to show you guys in the video, but honestly, this thing still gets the job done very easily. It's still my number one choice, but I see a lot of people using the other gun that I'm going to show you guys. So here's the entire class setup for the Ram 7. Please take a picture, screenshot, or anything along those lines. If you guys made it this far already, I want you guys to comment, I made it. Next is the Renetti, and this is actually taking over Warzone right now. Like, everybody I go up against now is using a Renetti, which is kind of sad. Really sucks. I think they're going to nerf this pretty quick. But here's the class setup for it. They're on the Zemin 35 Compensated Flash Hider for shorter radar pings, vertical recoil, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability at the cost of aim down sight speed and bullet velocity. 50 round drum. This is just the best possible choice you can have. 30 and 24 aren't worth it. Make sure you guys have the 50, considering this is an SMG. Rune Onslaught Assault Grip for firing aim stability, gun kick control, and recoil control at the cost of aiming idle sway. And this is my personal preference, the Nider Model 2023. If you guys don't need a sight, then feel free to throw on anything else that you guys want to. And I think this is obvious, but you guys need the aftermarket parts, which is a Jack Ferocity Carbine Kit. This makes it fully auto, helps attack stance, increases bullet velocity and range substantially, and aiming out of sway. This is the big thing. Like, check this out. It increases the range for everything by over 30%, which is absolutely ridiculous and makes this honestly the best SMG in the game. There's the entire class setup right here. This is exactly what you need for close range gunfights. Like, I honestly don't think anybody can lose with this SMG going against another SMG. I don't see any other weapon beating it. Like, HRM is really good, but I don't think that it's going to beat the Renetti. I think this actually has the fastest TTK. So make sure you guys, like I said, take a picture, screenshot, whatever you guys have to do. Number three is the SOA Subverter. I absolutely love this weapon, and I made it optimal for for people that want the absolute meta build. Go on the Cassis Break L for horizontal recoil and firing aim stability at the cost of aim down sight speed. This is the best choice overall. I mean, you can use the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor L for being undetectable by the radar, recoil control, and bullet velocity at the cost of aim down sight speed, aim walking stainless, and sprint to fire speed, especially if you want to stay off the radar. But Cassis Break L, I just think, makes sure you have no recoil. Well, yeah, overall no recoil, but... This keeps you off the map, so whichever one you want, completely up to you. Put on the Dozer 90 Long Barrel for bullet velocity and range, firing aim stability and gun kick control while, and recoil control at the cost of aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, aim walking stainless, and aim down sight speed. I have no reason that I would ever choose the Fervor 762. I just think that this is the best possible choice overall. Jack Glasses Optic. This is what a lot of people are running now, especially for this gun. I think a lot of people like it for the meta, so... Throw it on there, it helps with the precision sight and firing aim stability. You lose some aim down sight speed, but you won't notice it. 50 round drum, it's the best possible choice. I really do not recommend using the 30 round mag. I don't see a reason that you would ever use 30 over 50, so make sure you guys have this on there. And last but not least, the Motion V2 Heavy Stock for recoil control and gun kick control at the cost of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. I cannot wait to show you guys how broken this weapon is. It has no recoil and it's absolutely insane. So right here in the firing range, I just have to show you guys, like it doesn't take any effort to actually use this gun. It's ridiculously good at all ranges. Especially with the fact that I guess the ram got nerfed for the legs. This is pretty optimal because this didn't get nerfed for the legs. There's also another weapon that's absolutely amazing, and I can't wait to show you guys that one too. But 
this SOA subverter is technically the meta right now. So if you guys want to use this, feel free to take a picture. I cannot wait to show you the other insane long range weapon very soon. So the Holger 556 is what I see a lot of people running right now. And I have to give you two versions of it just because it's insanely broken. Doing the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor for being undetectable by the radar, recoil control, and bullet velocity and range at the cost of aim down sight speed, aim walk insaneness, and sprint to fire speed. Next, put on the Cheerios 6 match for bullet velocity and range, recoil control, and gun kick control at the cost of aim down sight speed, aiming out sway, and sprint to fire speed. Put on the Bruin Pivot Vertical Grip for gun kick control, vertical recoil, aiming out sway, and firing aim stability at the cost of horizontal recoil, aim down sight speed, and sprint to fire speed. 40 round mag because you can't go any higher. Honestly, I would if I could, but unfortunately, you can't. And last but not least, the Jack Glassless Optic for the precision sight picture and firing aim stability at the cost of aim down sight speed. This thing is absolutely insane. Like I've always loved the Holger since the beginning of even Modern Warfare 3. It has absolutely no recoil with this build and honestly, I don't even feel like I need to give you guys an alternative, but just for the people that e need even more recoil control, I got you guys, but I think you guys should try to stay off the map. Here's the entire build for the silence build right here, and I think that you guys should use this over anything else, but if you guys don't want to use this, then substitute the VT7 for the Cassis. If we can actually find the Cassis, it's going to be a mission. You have to go all the way and Cassis break. So Cassis break, and this is what it looks like with the Cassis break. I mean, it literally does not move either way. It's absolutely insane, but I think that you want to actually stay off the mini, well, the mini map. But if you guys want the best possible one, I think the VT7 is the best possible choice. So cast is break or VT7, completely up to you, whichever one you want to pick. The last thing I'm going to show you guys is the HRM9 because it's still meta. It's still amazing. So I have to give you guys the best possible build. Throw on the Zemin 35 compensated flash hider for shorter radar pings, vertical recoil, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability at the cost of aim down sight speed and bullet velocity. Next, throw on the Thorn 90 barrel for hip fire and tax stance spread, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, and sprint speed at the cost of aiming out of sway and recoil control. Throw on the DR6 hand stop for aim down sight speed, aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed at the cost of hip fire attack stand spread, and aim walking steadiness. 50 round drum because it's just the best possible choice overall. And last but not least, the folding stock for recoil control, gun kick control, and firing aim stability at the cost of aim down sight speed. This thing is absolutely amazing at basically all distances. Only one I would be careful of is super long range. Like, be prepared to basically blow through your bullets if you're going to go into a long range engagement. But if you can actually handle it, then fantastic. Try to keep the engagement as short to medium range engagements just to get the best possible results. But here is the entire class setup right here. Make sure you guys take a picture, screenshot, whatever you guys have to do. Now, I do have one more meta version for the HRM9, and this is actually silence for the people that actually want to stay off the minimap. I think the bullet velocity is higher too, so I think some people absolutely love this build. On the Sonic Suppressor S for being undetectable by the radar, bullet velocity and damage range at the cost of aim walk and steadiness, sprint to fire speed, and recoil control. dr 6 hand stop for aim down sight speed, aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed. Once again, the 50 round drum, there's really no alternative. PCS 90 assault grip for gun kick control, firing aim stability, and recoil control at the cost of aiming out sway and aim down sight speed. This is one of the big differences right here. And the last thing is the folding stock once again. This is actually one of my favorite builds for Fortune's Keep just because of the amazing range and staying off the mini map. Now it does bounce a little bit more than the quote unquote meta build, but the pros are you stay off the mini map and you have so much better bullet velocity. So that's something you have to keep in mind. Here's the entire build for it if you guys want it. And if you guys have made it through all these guns right here, do me a giant favor and comment which loadout was your favorite. And I'm gonna hit up people up with some cop points.